This is Twit. I've undergone this um, uh, scanning process where I finally, I, I've, I, we have whatever photo albums we have remaining from the past. I got a high-speed photo scanner, which, you know, depending on the photos, because some of them come out of sticky albums, either works great or work, it still works better than a flatbed scanner. But it's a big task, and I want to, you know, uh, add the metadata and so forth so that it has, like, the right date, if I can find the right date. I'd love to put the correct location information in there like you have now in modern photos. Um, but I'm going to digitize our old photos and then throw them all away. And so I started on that, uh, I don't know, last weekend, I guess, or two weekends ago. And I will spend the rest of my life doing it. But um, one of the things I wanted to find was a good application for some of this, you know, uh, you know, auto correction and, and, you know, metadata and all this kind of stuff. And I have Photoshop Elements. I, I actually bought the version from the Microsoft Store, which I generally recommend. The version I have is not the latest version. It's the previous version, which is called uh, Photoshop Elements 15. I think the latest version might be called Photoshop Elements 2019 or something like that. But uh, it's a good app. You know, it's a, it's normally $100. Um, I can install it on any number of computers, which I like because of the store. Um, but I ran into a problem with it. So... I, I wanted to, uh, you can use the organizer part of it to edit metadata, which is super useful. It works really well. And it even has this option for adding location data. And I thought, well, this is fantastic. I'll use this thing I already bought year, you know, a year ago, whatever. And it says, because of some license that ran out with Google, we can no longer offer this plugin for this application. But if you buy Photoshop Elements 2019, you can have it. And I thought, you know what? <laughs> that is... That's not cool. And um, so I started looking around and I got some feedbacks from some readers. And one of them recommended this thing uh, that I remember from back in the day, like back in the day, like 1995, back in the day, called ACDC. And it turns out these guys are still around and they sell various versions of their photo editing application, uh, which run from prices from 60 to probably $200. They have, you know, lifetime subscriptions and whatever. And they have very powerful versions and whatever. But the basic version of this product, which is just called ACDC Photo Editor, it's normally $60, but it's on sale right now for $25. And I thought, well, I'll give this a try because they have a free trial. You can use it for a month. And honestly, it is one of the best Photoshop clone type apps I think I've ever used. It's really, really nice. And obviously as a photo, uh, well, maybe not obviously, but it, it's particularly good for, you know, just people who take photographs. I know that sounds goofy, but... I often use um, Photoshop to edit images, not so much my own personal photographs, but rather images I'm going to use on the website. And so I, you know, I can crop and do whatever I do. But this 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 application is like incredible photo editing, you know, features that are very useful for someone like me who's doing the scanning stuff. So um, because it's available for a 30 day trial, there's no risk. You should if you need such a thing and you don't want to pay the hundred dollars or more or whatever. Um, for other applications like Photoshop Elements. Um, you should look at this. It's surprisingly good. And maybe it shouldn't be because it's been around, you know, they've been around for a long time, actually. And is it cross-platform or just on Windows? I am not sure, but I believe that these guys do make Mac apps as well. This, this particular one might be only Windows. Um, that I'm not sure about. Mm. You know, I know, like I know on the Mac, well, on Windows too, but uh, there's a, um, what is it called? Uh, da, 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 da. What's that Photoshop clone? clone? It's a really big deal, like iPad, Mac, Affinity oh, Photo. Oh, yeah, maybe? Affinity Photo. And then there's a Photo, oh, yeah, there's a lot of them. But Affinity is one yeah. that is like Photoshop. There's apps, there's lots of stuff that, mm -hmm. you know, they're Photoshop-like apps, you know, mm -hmm. Paint.net and, uh, you know, the GIMP and so forth. But as far as like, like really full-featured photo Editing, you know, I want to auto enhance and reduce red eye and do metadata and whatever. Like, this is actually one of the best ones I've ever seen. Hmm. It's cheap, especially it, right now. Yeah, it does look like it's just on Windows. Um, yeah. It was sorry. invented back in the day when you only did make apps for Windows. That's right. Yeah. They, <laughs> these guys really go back, I mean, to the 90s. Yeah. I remember one of the, the 90s. I remember ACDC. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Friends. Remember that show? <laughs>